Six for eight in the three ball game. In your favor. And our second unit. Players get comfortable with their roles. He thinks that no be in a position to contend for a playoff spot in the West.
missed way off of that shot. The Bucks looking to run again. Right down Main Street is Adetokounmpo, Giannis's brother. But that was that was a pretty good stride on that dribble. Yes. Well, unfortunately for Golden State, this is what happened to them in the third quarter and in the second and fourth quarter when they played at Brooklyn the other night. But in the second half right now, they've been outscored 61 to 32. And it's all missed shots and then the transition game being run down at them. And you got to give a lot of credit to the Milwaukee people who are out on the floor. They're taking advantage of a good ball movement getting good shots at the basket. No Draymond Green tonight. Foot injury suffered in practice a week ago, but he's day-to-day. -day. They do expect him back in the next game or two. He has not played since February 27. And obviously, the, the, big, the biggest loss is Clay Thompson as Wara has it blocked by Wiseman. Clay Thompson will miss his second straight year. It was the knee injury suffered in... Game six of the NBA Finals in June of 2019, and the Achilles injury then suffered at the end of November. So when he returns, he'll be 31, so still plenty of time for Clay Thompson to... A defender guarding the other team's best point guard to allow Curry to pick and save his strength. He was a great two-way player for them, and the game will be much better when he comes back. He's a hard worker, and let's face it, catch and shoot, led the league, I don't know how many years in a row, for percentage, just amazing. And there's a toughness, too, that Clay Thompson brings to the table that the Warriors will miss. Here's Bill Stanton, who's a pretty good three. player out at the University of Minnesota, then drafted that high up in the first round with the Lakers. Then he had another brother who played Major League Baseball uh, and played with the Dodgers and was in their field. So it's really a true athletic family that kind of uh, gets to the top in regards to production. Actually, one of the players on the floor for the Warriors, Michael Mulder, he's named after Michael Thompson. He plays dead. Spelled the same way. Manassas, nice move in the lane there for uh, Giannis' older brother, putting that in. They were celebrating Costas the other night, getting his ring with the uh, Lakers. Costas and Dedekumbo, and the Lakers winning the championship. Ring ceremony on uh, Tuesday night. They play the Mavs tonight on ABC and ESPN. to your team and you say that your number one priority is their shooting percentage. Well, you're hoping that when you do give them the time that they can execute and get a goal for the confidence level because they're fighting people for minutes and they want to get not just minutes but quality minutes when the game is on the line. That's 20 threes now. They are plus 30 in three-point Made shots over the Warriors. Golden State's made 10. Milwaukee's made 20. It's 138 to 95 collision in the lane as Poole try to draw the charge on Torrey Craig. We see the Brooklyn Nets and the Boston Celtics. It'll be really interesting to watch. With their first unit, it's very strong. And then the guys coming off the bench could be starters other places. And you just like the style of play. And you know, I want to just say something about Steve Nash. Nash and Bird very seldom get talked about as the greatest shooters when people are talking about shooting. But when you talk about 50% from the field, 40% in threes, and 90 on the line, six guys have done it once. Nash has done it four times, and Larry Bird has done it twice. Then you had Nowitzki and Durant, and then you had Reggie Miller, and then a the guy that a lot of people forget about, Mark Price, 
who played with the great Cleveland team. And then, from Milwaukee, just two years ago, Gordon, out of University of Virginia, he also did it. That's why it was interesting that the young man who's having such a great game today, Middleton, this is not by a point, but we're talking about hundreds of points. It's just amazing. Right, uh, 497. That, that, that's what his shooting percentage was from the field. We have defense of three seconds, so technical. And uh, Lee gets the free throw. But to back to your point on, on Steve Nash, he was a part of the Warriors organization for a while, uh, getting an opportunity now to uh, coach in the NBA. A lot of people were surprised when that news broke that uh, he was getting the head coaching job. But with his personality... And some of the characters there in Brooklyn, with the Kyrie Irving in particular, you should be able to handle those guys. Well, if you go back and you look at the general manager there, he and Steve played together on those great teams in Phoenix. So uh, they know the character, they know the IQ of basketball, and then he stayed close to the game by being a consultant and then a workout guy whenever he was in town with Golden State with the good team. Bull trying to go baseline. Vanessa's good hands. Knocks it out of bounds. Brother likes it. So for the Warriors, Steph Curry finishes with 19 points. Again, a struggle for him on Christmas Day. It's his eighth Christmas game, and his career shooting percentage is 30% on Christmas. His career high on Christmas Day, he got today. He matched his previous best with 19 points, but he was 6 of 17, 2 of 10 from 3. Wiseman just blocked that by catching it out of the air. Look at him run the floor here. He gets fouled on the drive, but again, showing you that tremendous talent and agility. He's got 17 points in this game. He's only played 25 minutes. Uh, you can see it right there. The blocks are there. He had the blocks the other night in game one. He's backing it up with it again. And remember, we cannot underestimate this at all. Zero training camp and zero games in the exhibition. He's doing it at the highest level, and he's doing it against a couple of good teams. Brooklyn and now Milwaukee. Number two pick, the first time the Warriors have taken player number two since Rick Barry back in 1965. They have the number one pick in 95 and took Joe Smith. We'll see if Wiseman, at age 19, will continue to have as much impact as he's had early on with Draymond Green returns to the lineup, which is expected here, either against Chicago on the 27th or at Detroit on the 29th. The Warriors are rolling two. The Bucks get their first win of the season. 